Lapita is at it again. Yes, Pokemon Red, White, and Blue, an unofficial Pita parody. So I decided to play this for lol, so let's get right into it. For generations, humans have claimed to love Pokemon, but if Pokemon came to our world in real life and saw how we treat animals, would they love us back? Would they feel that Pokemon games have a part in re reducing our empathy for animals? Would they feel like it's completely ridiculous that Nintendo releases two versions of essentially the same game and then has to the audacity to release a slightly different version of, of a couple of years later? And what would humans do to Pokemon if they got their hands on them in the real world? So if you guys don't know, PETA is basically an animal, save the animals company kind of deal. They try to save animals, but they don't actually do anything productive because instead of putting all those millions of dollars that they get in funding to help say animal shelters and save you know endangered species and lands and stuff they decide to make flash games and target like companies like Nintendo and other gaming companies to get publicity so I'm playing this game for lol so here we go a battle is in progress are you too late to help I mean, look at the freaking guy. I mean, he's like all bloody and he's like a ro I don't know, the robbers? Robbers are abusive animals. Mysterious stranger, I told you four times already, you old cow, we own you. Injured milk tank. Mysterious stranger uses dehorning? Uses de- What? Oh my god, the face. What the heck? Injured milk tank, why would you do this to me? Didn't your mother teach you about kindness? Uh, PETA is just absolutely ridiculous, I tell you. They just want attention from people. Yeah, I'm just ticked off because I actually like, you know, animals and I think saving them should be an importance instead of making Flash games to rip off of Nintendo's success. So that just kind of sucks. My mother taught me Pokemon are mine to use and abuse in any way I want and right now I want to satisfy my hungry customers. Uses butcher. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Apparently, Peta is like attacking not only this but McDonald's too. I actually found out about this through a guy by the name of Alpha Omega Sin. He is a YouTuber, a pretty popular guy on YouTube, and he does rants about games and other stuff that's not game related. So he's a gamer that likes to rant about pretty much anything. And I saw his rant on this, which I can link in the description somewhere if you guys want to take a look at it. But yeah, so I found out about this one. Peter, I can't believe you think it's okay to feed milk tank to people. <laughs> Who would want to eat a milk tank? Like, I mean, I don't know. I know we eat cows, but seriously, not this isn't the same thing. It's it's made up creatures, made up animal stuff. Select fight or change Pokemon. Use attacks that exploit an opponent's weakness. Defeat other opponents to free all Pokemon. Okay, I guess fight then. Group hug, protest. What the heck? What is charge beam then? Let's let's kick its butt, Pikachu. Right in the groin too. Wow, that's gotta suck. Pikachu is stunned, mysterious stranger with the power of a laser beam. Laser beam. So what are we combining Pikachu with like Metroid here or something? Like I don't understand this. Use the butcher. Chopped a way at Pikachu. I mean, look at Pikachu's ear. It's like partly. They really like over did over the top stuff. That's what Pete is known for. Over the top anything. It's not very effective. What other Pokemon do we have anyway? There are no Pokemon in your party yet. So let's fight again. What does protest mean? Use pro lover not what? Lover something. You should be down to with some powerful words. Oh my God! Petitioning here. Protesting. Oh my god, attack fell. So he basically keeps using Butcher. Which, I don't know, still isn't very effective, I guess. I would say that would be effective. Group hug, I'm gonna assume, is like if you had more people in your party. Let's slam him. Yay. Slam him to your stranger. Dehorning again. Dehorning, but yet we have no horns. That makes sense. Oh man, this is just, this is absolutely terrible. This is how, this is just absolutely ridiculous. Like, this company really should stop be making, like, Flash games like this and actually go and help some animals. Because, you know, I think animal cruelty is just terrible. I happen to own, uh, or my parents, I guess, own the family dog. And, you know, I'm very attached to animals and pets and I'm a 
lover of dogs and cats and any kind of pet, really. I prefer dogs, though, but still, you know, it's it's not right. Like, you should be helping the animals that go to these abusive, you know, go to animal shelters because they're being abused by people instead of doing stuff like this. It's, it's just so stupid, considering how much money that they get each year to try and do that. Instead, they waste it on making Flash games like this. Oh, jeez, you know, let's just charge me again, I guess. Oh, man. So wouldn't this technically be abuse to humans, then? Like, come on now. <laughs> Seriously, the people of Unova eat Pokemon, do they not? Only occasionally, and we're fighting to change that, everyone knows it's gross. Eat Pokemon. Um, yeah, this is very ridiculous. Where you come from, we eat other beings all the time. We're taught as children that we're the masters of the world. Wow. Wow. We use lesser beings as our entertainment, our clothing, and even our food. What? The Pokemon universe reinforces this message by teaching us that Pokemon are humans' property to use and abuse whoever they wish. Actually, in the Pokemon game, I don't know, but somewhere they kind of teach that, you know, abusing Pokemon is wrong. I mean, what about the teams like Team Rocket or, you know, all, Team Plasma or all these other crazy teams out there that are criminal organizations that essentially you, you know, help to free Pokemon from them and defeat them because they're the ones abusing Pokemon. In fact, the game's central whatever is to show that, you know, you have a partnership with your Pokemon and your friends, you're not abusing them. In fact, you're trying to liberate other Pokemon from Team Rocket and the other bad crime organizations in the game, so... Peta's just really off the rocker, seriously. That's not what Pokemon are about, we exist for our own purposes, so just go back to wherever you came from and leave us alone. <laughs> Stranger fell. Miltank joins the party. So we essentially say, I guess, Miltank. What is this Pokemon's name? Um... Hmm... <laughs> I don't know. Meat bag, then. I guess. Oops. Caps. Meat bag. For some reason... Oh wait, instead of Meatbag, I think it was like Meathead or something like that in a certain show called All in the Family I used to watch with my dad. That was a really old show, but yeah, that's probably where that came to my head. Meatbag, thanks for having compassion for me. Because you might as well, you know, call them a really bad name, right, Peta? Be seeing you, Pokemon. The series really disappeared through a cur curious portal. Because people have magic in the real world. Look, he's left something behind. Did you found a chest? Let's open this chest. Open it. A cartridge was inside. Let's view it. Okay, yeah, I just decided to cut that whatever the heck that was out. But basically, it just opened up a new window, and it was going to try to show me, I'm assuming, a video about animal cruelty. Like, this is just really messed up. They're really pushing this. Oh my god, so this is McDonald's Corporation killing Pokemon to feed them to humans? So I'm gonna have to look at that video sometime because that is really screwed. I didn't bother looking at it, but I guess they were trying to go on about McDonald's and how evil they are towards, I don't know, animals because they kill cows and stuff. Like what food chain doesn't? Once again, they're targeting the most popular food chains and places out there like gaming companies. Anything that's popular, they will just ride off the backs of them for this. <laughs> I don't think those were Pokemon they were killing. Humans kill whoever they want, whoever they want. Oh my god, this is just... Just because people play Pokemon and go to McDonald's does not mean that they're abusive to freaking animals. It is just, uh, the uh, stupidity. But just because they are all different from us, it doesn't mean we should ignore it. Uh-huh. Exactly, we have to stop people from eating other beings, and we have to stop this McDonald's corporation. Wow. Because McDonald's is selling Pokemon to eat. Let's roll out. <laughs> Lol. Uh, maybe we should just walk. Wow. Wow. Whoa, where are we? This is where the mysterious stranger was from. I see a giant yellow M up ahead. <laughs> it's the McDonald's. That must be McDonald's. Where they turn living, feeling beings into food for unkind humans. Okay. Really? Uh, what? You're on the window, free Pokemon toy with every happy meal? <laughs> oh god, look at that dude. They have Pikachu, uh, T-Pig, Snivy, and Oshawott toys. 
Yeah. How could they do this? They are using me because I am so cute to sell their death their death burgers. Death beam. It's like the Death Star. Look at the McDonald's thing over there. It's like all bloody fries or I don't know, soggy bloody fries or turned to an M. I did not approve of them using my likeness. This is a total violation of my public publicity rights. Get me a lawyer. You mean kind of like how PETA is doing that with Nintendo? How this isn't right? Technically, they shouldn't even be doing this complete slander. And in some ways, a lot of people were saying that Nintendo should totally sue them for this kind of crap. But yeah. There is someone. Excuse me, sir. Can you help us? McDonald's customer. Wow, real life Pokemon. I love you guys. I love your game so much. You could just slap a Pikachu face on a pinball game and I'd buy it. Oh, wait. They already did that. Is this where they're... Is this where they torture and kill living beings and sell them as food items? Living... Oh my god. They don't kill animals right here, but they sell them, sell them prepared as food. And let me tell you, they are delicious. Mmm, bacon, I love meat. Chicken nuggets is like my family. Well, I mean, PETA, come on. People have to eat. For that matter, you could attack, like, I don't know, the grocery store chains out there. There's tons of, we have to eat, like, seriously. I mean, that's just the way the world works. We have to eat cows, meat, and all that stuff to give us vitamins. It's unfortunate that, you know, maybe some companies do it in not-so-nice ways, because I know that, for example, Kentucky Fried Chicken, I'm pretty sure through some class, a multimedia class I took in high school, my teacher, uh, he showed us that, I guess, for Kentucky Fried Chicken, they, like, I don't know, raise these chickens, pump them with this stuff that makes them really plump and fat, and then kill them, and then they just lock them in these little tiny ch cages while they do it. So yeah, there's companies out there that do shit like that. It's bad, it's terrible. What are you gonna do, honestly? Like, if you knew everything, and everything that you ate out there, if you knew exactly how it was made, you probably wouldn't, wouldn't want to eat the food, and, you know, if you cared. So, it's sad to say that, in some ways, we have to be you know, ignorant of it, but at the same time, I don't know. It's really sad, but but seriously, this is not going to accomplish anything. You animals, but you love Pokemon. I don't understand the difference. So this kind of turned into a sort of like, let's play the PETA stupid game and um, rant about PETA and how stupid and, you know, waste of time. They're, ugh, it's just terrible. I can't even talk. Just, just ugh. You're not... <laughs> vegans, are you? How do you find a vegan at a dinner party? Don't worry, they'll let you know. Haha, <laughs> man, I love meat. Hey, y'all actually look kind of tasty, too. I bet you whoever owns you wouldn't mind if I took a bite. If we can farm animals, why not Pokemon, too? Oh, my sweet god. Let's get some feedlots going and grow you real big. I love it. Mmm, prepare to be de devoted battle. So I don't know how long I'm going to do this video. Only certain parts of it, I guess, or for so long, I should say, certain parts of the game. Um, let's, yeah, let's fight. Let's, uh, charge beam the crap out of this dude. Use his DD DOS tack. What? Dilla cripple Pikachu. Pikachu's. It didn't look like a completely cripple, crippling blow. Powerful la laser. It's paralyzed. He may not be able to move. Okay, let's, let's take out meat bag. Send in. Go, meat bag. Wonder if you got rollout. Fight. You better. There we go. Let's get locked in the rollout. Yay. Use this rant. Okay. Hurl tor tor a torrent of abuse at meat bag. Attack Rose. Oh my god. Utter madness. This is so screwed. This really is. Okay. And put hurt and bounce customer. Alrighty then. Then headbutt. Let's do with this. Let's take him out. It's super effective. He uses bite. So took a bite out of not rich viciously on me. What? Uh bullhorn. Tad with a sonic boom. So basically we're we killed Meat Bag. So you ate Meat Bag. Or. Okay, didn't. If you ate Meat Bag, why would he just faint, I guess? I don't know. Go, Pikachu. Yay, let's. 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 Whatever, slam. Guess you're around a PP for the other move. 
You just rant again, okay. Yay, all kinds of abuse and crap, not. Uh, slam again, let's take him out. Yay, oh, you ruined my childhood, Sob. <laughs> That's a bit dramatic, don't you think? We ruined your childhood by defeating you. I, I don't know, PETA is not gonna ruin... This is just so ridiculous. Pokemon games are supposed to be just for fun. Why do you insist on making everyone so serious, Sob? A world where humans are killed just to satisfy taste buds. Don't you think it is important to celebrate kindness over callousness? What if Pokemon did live in this world? From the humans I've seen so far and that ad on the window, I'm afraid all that would be offered to us is ex exploitation and abuse. Yeah, because... Yeah, because that's totally what we're going to do, just abuse the crap out of Pokemon. It would be awesome if freaking Pokemon were real. Jigglypuff joins the party. Oh no, my favorite Pokemon Jigglypuff. Don't leave me, Sob. Jigglypuff. Screw this. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to say Puff, just like I leaf green let's play. Finally, I'm free. I'm starving. My owner hasn't fed me in a week. <laughs> You're looking a little less puffy. <laughs> or puffy, yeah. P puff is not, look, not looking so puffy. Gah, my owner said he loved me, but he treated me like his property, like a piece of furniture or a toy. I'm so happy to be free. I feel a song coming on. Uh, maybe later. Sob. There are protesters outside the McDonald's. <laughs> Team Plasma, they're here to fight for the rights of animal Pokemon. Oh, no. Oh, they're doing the playoff Team Plasma and their whole weird, whatever, free and liberating Pokemon. PETA must be huge fans of Team Plasma, I tell ya. God. Are you a Team Plasma? No, I'm with PETA. People for the ethical treatment of animals. We believe animals are not ours to eat or abuse in any way. Like, okay. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're gonna protect us from eating cows and regular beef and chicken and all that other stuff because we need those vitamins and nutrition to live. So humans have to starve, so basically animals will go free. You know animals will like kill other animals. It's part of the whole food chain, people. Oh my god. And not to mention, even though I heard it's kind of weird, but I know of some countries they eat dog, though. But that's not the point. Like, here, we're not going to just take our dog out and eat it. And if you're honestly, people who are going to abuse animals and are going to eat them, they probably already have something psychologically wrong with them anyway. Just because, you know, the people that don't have a psychological problem and aren't messed up, and stuff, play Pokemon, Does it It doesn't mean it's gonna turn them that way and they're gonna start saying, hey, I wanna go beat my dog now. This is just, this is just so stupid. Pokemon 2, Pokemon 2. Wow, you guys sound great, swoon. <laughs> Are you all so attractive? Would you like to hear my new power belated about Pokemon Liberators, swoon? But can you help us stop McDonald's and the humans who have sold us out to promote eating tortured animals? McDonald's is killing animals and someone is letting them use Pokemon to make people think it's okay. Oh my god. Because, oh, the sin of McDonald's and their Happy Meal toys. Oh my god. You might as well say they've used, like, My Little Pony or other little toys for the same thing. <laughs> I can tell you where McDonald's supplier's slaughterhouse is. Maybe that will help. And please take this as a good luck charm. Found a chest. Uh, I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna assume it's gonna... Are you sure you don't want to open the chest? Yep. I don't want another video, you stupid whatever PETA and showing me. More videos about, oh, McDonald's does this and does that. It's like, yeah. So does, like, you know, there's Kentucky Fried Chicken. There's tons of other companies out there. I have a slaughterhouse. Okay. But anyway, guys, I'm probably going to end this video off here. I think I've seen enough. Uh, unless you guys want to see another video and see me play through the rest of this ridiculous game, by all means, let me know in the comments field below. But for now, I think I've had enough of this ridiculous game. So, uh, put in the comments below also if you have any thoughts and opinions about this whole PETA attacking Pokemon once again, because it's not like they haven't done it before with Pokemon Black and White 2 or, you know, other games like Assassin's Creed I've heard. And, you know, if you guys want to check out a really awesome guy who rants about many things and makes a lot of sense, uh, now mind you, if you're a bit iffy about, um, you know, swear words and stuff, he does happen to, s to do that quite a bit, but... If you don't care, by all means go check him out, Alpha Omega Sin, uh, great guy, uh, you know, he rants on about this stuff. He's got a whole playlist about him versus PETA actually, because they've done so much ridiculous stuff in regards to targeting pretty much anything that they can. 
that's popular. So enough of me ranting on. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, and like I said, leave your opinions about PETA and this in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you. Okay, bye.